everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do a little book haul and today's book haul is going to be uh, books that I've received for review recently. So I only have four books and one of them I feel like I may have already shown you but I honestly just don't remember. So anyways, I'll, maybe I'll start with that book. So that book is Atlantis Rising and this is by Gloria Craw and this book is, was sent to me for review from Entangled Teen and the last book that they sent me for review was the book of Ivy which you guys know I, I loved it so much so I am excited to read this because I feel like they send out pretty good review books and this book might already be out because they did send me a finished copy of this. I'm going to read you the back of the book so you know a little bit more about what it's about. I am different. I have always been different, but no one can know or my life will be in danger. So I hide in plain sight wearing drab clothes and thick glasses and trying to be invisible. I am so good at hiding. No one has ever noticed me until Ian or Ian, I guess. The mysterious and oh so cute boy. I know I need to avoid. Now I have been seen and more terrifying still, I am wanted by those who would protect me and those who would destroy everything and everyone I love. But if they're all terrified about who I am, wait until they see what I can do. What the heck? I don't know what this book is about even from reading the back, but it kind of sounds intriguing, doesn't it? And it's not that long, it's only like, it's not even 300 pages long. So I should read this one soon because it sounds pretty good actually. I don't know what the heck that's about. She's underwater, so maybe it's about like mer people. I think everything's about mer people. The this next one. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. Boys are here from the west side. <laughs> Next book I have is also sent to me from Entangled Teen. This one is called Paper or Plastic. This is a YA contemporary book. So this one should be out. It came out in February. Once again, YA contemporary. It's a love story about two people who work in a grocery store, I believe, or a supermarket, and they meet and they fall in love, etc., etc. So it's probably going to be really cute. Hopefully I'll get to this one soon as well. And, I mean, another one that's fairly short. It's only like 305 pages. I don't know. It's cute. When I'm in the mood for a nice little light-hearted contemporary, I think I will be going right for this one. The last two books I have were sent to me from Simon & Schuster. The first one I have is called Dime, and this is by... Oh, I didn't say who this was by, did I? Sorry. Paper or Plastic is by Vivi Barnes author of Olivia Twisted, which I've never read either. This book is called Dime by E.R. Frank. This one doesn't come out until May 26, 2015. I'm going to read you the back so you know what this is about. I believe it's a pretty, like, darkish type of book. Dime has lived in the same place for almost as long as she can remember, but it isn't home, and lately, things are falling apart. Then she meets Daddy. He stares at her with those eyes like some gangster puppy dog. It's the first time she's felt this kind of love. Now, Dime has a real place, a family, and a way to be someone special, at a cost. It's so smooth and so fast that Dime is pulled into the life without even realizing it, making choices and doing things she's never thought she'd do, losing herself piece by piece until it feels like she's barely got anything left inside. But what if the tiny part that does remain is enough to help her break free? Once again, I don't know what that's really about, but that's what the synopsis says. So this is a contemporary novel, but it sounds like it's a bit more of a darker one, or at least the cover kind of gives off that vibe. Okay, and the very last book that I... Whoa, I just dropped it on the dog. Sorry, Gaia. Whoopsies. The very last book that I have also sent to me from Simon & Schuster is called Hit. I think this is a really cool cover. There's a face, there's a face. And this book is by Delia S. Dawson, or Dahlia S. Dawson. This one comes out April 14th, so I guess by the time this video goes up, this book will already be out. And let's read what the back says. No one reads the fine print. The good news is that the USA is finally out of debt. The bad news is that we are brought out by Valor National Bank, and debitors are the new big game. Thanks to a tricky little clause hidden deep in the fine print of a credit card application. Now, after a swift and silent takeover that leaves 911 calls through the Valor voicemail, they're unleashing a wave of anarchy across the country. Patsy didn't have much of a choice. When the suit showed up at her house threatening to kill her mother then and there for outstanding debt unless Patsy agreed to be a dentured assassin, 
What was she supposed to do? Let her mother die? Patsy is forced to take on a five-day mission to complete a hit list of ten names. Each name on Patsy's list has only three choices. Pay the debt on the spot, agree to work as a bounty hunter, or die. And Patsy has to kill them personally or else her mom takes a bullet of her own. Since Yaren bombing in Patsy's most rebellious act until now, she's horrified and overwhelmed, especially as she realizes that most of the ten people on her list aren't strangers. Things get even more complicated when a moment of mercy lands her with a sidekick, a hot rich kid named Wyatt, whose brother is the final name on Patsy's list. The two share an intense chemistry even as every tick of the clock draws them closer to an impossible choice. So I'm guessing this is a dystopian. To be honest with you, this one doesn't really sound that appealing to me, but maybe it's better than it sounds. I don't know. So yeah, that's the last book that I received. Hey guys, so I lied and I said that that was the end of the haul, but I just got another package in the mail and I ended up getting three more books. So I thought that I would show them to you now uh, and then just kind of combine them into this review book haul. So the next three books are also from Simon and & Schuster and these three, they always really give like a list of options and you kind of pick your top three and they usually send you your first choice, sometimes your first and your second, but this time they sent me my first three picks so I was pretty excited. So the first one that I got is called Ruthless and this one is by Carolyn Lee Adams and it comes out in July 2015. Just read you the little blurb. Ruth Carver has always competed like her life depends on it. Ambitions, tough, maybe even mean. It's no wonder people call her ruthless. When she wakes up with a concussion in the bed of a moving pickup truck, she realizes she has been entered into a contest she can't afford to lose. At a remote, rotting cabin deep in the Blue Ridge Mountains, Ruth's blindfold comes off and she comes face to face with her captor, a man who believes his mission is to punish bad girls like Ruth, a man who has done this six times before. The other girls were never heard it from again, but Ruth won't go down easy. She escapes into the wilderness, but her hunter is close at her heels. That's when the real battle begins. That's when Ruth must decide just how far she'll go in order to survive. Back home, they call her Ruthless. They have no idea just how right they were. So this sounds like crazy intense, kind of like a thriller, and this is YA, and they don't, I feel like there's not that many YA thrillers, so I'm really actually excited to read this one, and I'll for sure be reading this before it comes out in July. The next one I got is called Galgorithm, and this is by Aaron Carroll, and this one comes out in May, so this one's coming out pretty soon. And this, I'll just read the back again for you. What if the secrets of dating and love were revealed in one simple formula? That's a tantalizing proposition high school senior Shane Chambliss offers the hopeless and hapless guys who come to him for relationship advice. After the girl of his dreams breaks his heart, Shane devises a mysterious formula called the Galgorithm and establishes himself as the resident dating guru at Kingsview High School. But his attempts to master the art of romance go outrageously awry. As Shane tries to navigate the ensuing drama, he must follow his heart, abandon all the rules, and ignore his own advice in a quest for true love. What he discovers is no formula could ever be perfect. So that sounds pretty darn good if you ask me contemporary YA right up my alley. The next one is the one that I am most excited for. It was my number one pick and I want to read this book possibly even next. And it's called Three Day Summer. This is by Sarvanez Tash. I don't know. Anyways, this one also comes out May 2015, and this one takes place at Coachella, or I don't know if it's Coachella in particular, or if it's just a music festival. I'll read this. First of all, the reason why I was so excited to get this is because it says, if you're a fan of Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson and Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, then you will love this. Does that not sound like an amazing combination? And you guys know I love those two books. This says, Michael is unsure about most things. Go to college? enlist in the military, break up with his girlfriend, all big question marks. He is living for the moment and all he wants is a few days at the biggest concert of the summer. Cora lives in the town hosting the music festival. She's volunteering in the medical tent. She's like that, always the good girl. But there is something in the air at this concert and suddenly Cora finds herself wanting to push her own boundaries. When Michael and Cora meet, sparks fly, hearts race, and all the things songs are written about come true. And then all the while, three days of the most epic summer await them. So I just think that that sounds really, really good and also I'm super into this cover. It's very like 
70s hippie. I really like it. Those are the last three books that I've received for review and I think that that's all that is coming. Oh, I don't know. I think. I don't think anything else will be coming soon. If there is, I'll just do another haul. Okay, back to old me. I was supposed to be receiving a review copy of Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott, but it hasn't come in yet and I'm hoping they didn't forget about me because I need to read it so bad. So bad. Anyways, you guys, those are all the books that I've gotten for review recently. Let me know down below what you think or if there's any you feel you would like me to read and review first. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!